Hi everyone, Raquel here from Scrap Cozy. I'm very excited today because I'm going to show you what I've created uh, new and what I've just brought uh, to the world. So basically this is an art journal. It's a um, book basically full of vintage images and pages for you to use as a base for art journaling, okay? Or to create any sort of crafts, whatever you want with it, okay? So it's a book meant to be used, okay? It's very nice. I know that many people would prefer to collect it and don't destroy it, but trust me, it's for this, it's for destroying it, for using it, for creating art, okay? So um, that's what I'll try to do, basically. So this is available in Amazon. So if you search for my name, Scrap Cozy, you will find it, okay? Well, you will find this and you will also find some other things like agendas that I've created, I mean, some diaries I, that I will show you later on, okay? But basically, this video today is about this book, which is my art journal, um, volume one, okay? So you can tell, may come volume two eventually, but uh, for now we have volume one, okay? So this book is full of different pages um, of different uh, vintage books that I've put together that they have, um, well, um, different uh, typographies and different backgrounds and different things. So then basically you can use it as you want. And uh, because I thought that, well, sometimes um, you like to glue two pages together, or at least that's what I do to give more strength to my books. Um, I may kind of feel that I'm losing a uh, design if I glue two pages together. Well, this book is repeated twice, okay? So you have um, the first part of the book that comes until the mid page, okay? And then it starts again. So basically um, you have these couple of these pages get repeated after this one, okay? So half of the book is um, in here already, okay? So that gives you the flexibility of actually if you like an image or if you have a design that you love and you kind of lose it, don't worry because it will come up later, okay? So uh, yeah, that's the idea behind this book is to be used, as I said, as a background for your art journals. But also you can, if you like an image and you want to create a separate project, feel free to cut off the page, tear it off and use it, okay? Or even trim it into pieces and do a collage and create whatever you want with it, okay? It's meant to be used, okay? And also, I mean, if for whatever reason you kind of feel like, oh, I don't want to destroy it, well, buy two, <laughs> okay? One, you keep it as a collector and the other one, you will use it, okay? Because it's meant to be used. So now let me pull the camera down and I'll show you what's inside, okay, in all the pages. So this is spoiler alert. <laughs> if you just want this as a surprise, then don't continue uh, seeing the video. But if you want me to show you everything that it has, stay with me, okay? So I'll bring you down. Okay, so this is the cover and this is the back cover. So they are paperback because I didn't want something hard to work on this because basically I like to kind of be able to work in my art journal and eventually I will create the covers. When I finish the book, I'll probably decorate the covers and do something harder and sturdier. Okay, so at this moment, I just wanted something simple and uh, yeah, like this. It's very soft uh, to touch, I like it. And I really like this um, kind of illustration. So I decided that this would be um, the actual cover of the book. So it starts like this. I wanted to call it joint journal. Well, uh, I didn't change the title. I may do a second edition and put our journal here, but for now it stays like this. And it's full of, uh, well, here are my details. You know me, this is my YouTube channel, Scrap Cozy, that you are watching right now. And uh, this is Instagram, and then that's it. So then we start with one page. This one is not repeated anymore. So if you like it, keep it. And then we start with the book, okay? So from here onwards, everything you see is repeated, okay? Twice, so after half part of the book, you will find it again. So these are kind of compositions that I've made because this doesn't exist like that. I mean, I put some different images that I found that I liked, and then I just basically uh, put them together. So you can just, oh, for example, on here, if you just like this, to just color the images and that's it. You don't need to do much. Or you could add some laces or some frames and do whatever you want uh, with your art journal. Or just use it, as I said, as a base and you can put some stamp and cut images or whatever you want to do with it. Okay. Then we have some ones that are just plain pages, kind of, or that you can, if you like, for example, you like nature pictures, then you can just cut this and use it later on. And um, here, for example, I mean, I love this flower. Just can um, color it and that's it. Call it done. You don't need to do much. And then you have uh, background pages. Very cool. 
very nice typography and then I start combining some flowers these flowers are some others that when I was compiling my um, these other uh, the weekly planners uh, well I, I have a lot of flowers there underneath right and you can see them there so basically those flowers that I got um, some of them appear as well in this art journal the ones that I like the most appear here so this is one of them and yeah I made the composition so that they look nice already and you don't need to do much but in other cases well you just um, you just have plain text because I think it's also nice to just have a background that is not um, killing your kind of project because sometimes you may say oh this is too nice I don't want to cover it and then well you end up not doing anything with it but um, yeah the idea is that you actually do something with it so if you don't like it you can cover it if you like it you can embrace it and then be it the first or the main point of your art journal you do whatever you want and then here these pages are also pretty cool this is the tea plant Chinese tea plant and then we have some um, music sheets and again similar pages like that this is also a favorite it's very very cool I like it very much and yeah it has like um, well the different um, ads from the past better okay and more they are so nice I mean you can even cut these and then use them as a stamp or or different things to use in other um, art journals so yeah this is the first idea that I had for the book and then if you kind of are new into art journaling and you don't know where to start then basically I mean well, you can watch some of my uh, previous videos that I've done on, on our journaling and then use this as a base. Or you can wait <laughs> because eventually I will try to put together an art journal book that is self-explanatory and that you can actually use to create some suggested art journal layouts. This doesn't make sense now, but it will eventually <laughs> when I present this to you. It's not ready at all. It's only in my mind, so it will take a while to come up. So uh, then it comes the part of the Dictionary of Gardening. I really love these sort of pages that remind me of um, yeah, a book of a dictionary, basically. And then they are very, very nice. I like these sort of fonts. And I've put here, this flower is the same that you saw here. So I use it in this composition and I actually found it as part of this book. You have also pines, many, many things and things that, well, I'll just put there in the middle just love it you find these things these sort of books and it's such a pity that they are there and you can just use them once or that of course they are so beautiful sometimes that you don't want to use them right but this one is brand new so you can definitely destroy it because you can get another one if you want and it's okay so you're not ruining um, a piece of vintage art, basically. It's just something new, brand new. Look at this. I mean, I love this one. And the one that comes next is also awesome, you will see. So this is from a catalog of flowers and plants. Look at this one. This is gorgeous. And you can use it here or you can just cut it out and use it in another page. And what about this one? Ah! This one is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I just love it. But some of these images, I mean, you would say, okay, you could create a stamp off of it because sometimes I kind of do, but these are so shaded and they have so much detail that you cannot transform this into a stamp directly. So when I find these sort of things, I kind of either drew on top a simpler version of the flower or I just skip it and I can't use it yet, right? So then basically, I thought it would be a pity to let this be lost, so I decided to put it into the book. And I love these ones. So, for example, if you like these images, there is a stamp that I created with these. And, yeah, it's one of my very first stamps. Not this one, sorry. <laughs> this one. Can you see the cabbage? Ah, it's awesome. I like it very, very much. So it really resembles one of these. I think I'll do eventually um, a journal using these and my stamps as well so keep keep an eye on my youtube channel because i will definitely have something to show you really soon look at this one this one is just gorgeous oh my gosh i just love it it's, it's amazing i love it 
very very much so it's just I mean even if you just want to read it I mean it's worth doing it it's just very old catalog of flowers and then now it comes a part of this section of the book where you just have flowers okay so this section is for you to kind of probably cut and use as part of the other art journals if you want or just color it here I mean whatever you want to do with it but the idea is that basically you can use this as your focal points for your um, art journals and then you can cut them and remember that even if you have flowers on the back this is repeated twice so if you like this flower let's say and you also like this flower well you can cut this one from here and then go to the very back of the book and then find it again so this flower this flower so from down you cut this one and then from this other page you can cut this one okay so just bear in mind what you're cutting and remember what you did so then basically you can use both if you do like them both of course so and some of them I like them very much that I've repeated them twice so this one you have it also in this sort of a size and again in this size so two different sizes the same flower because I just like it so much <laughs> that I thought I would use it twice okay these ones are also gorgeous I just love them so these are again now the book starts again okay and it gets repeated all over so if you fell in love with a couple of pages you can use them again okay and again just don't use them as a base I mean use it for your projects crafty projects cut them out tear them off and then just use them okay I would love to see what you create so if you tag me on Instagram or whatever leave me your comments and then I would love to see what you create with them and as I said these flowers actually um, are I mean came I, I had them because I basically did these other um, books which are actually uh, a vintage weekly planner and then this is undated so you can start at any time and the idea behind this is to like a, use it as a bullet journal kind of but it's already uh, preset for you basically so you have the week okay and then you have different plants 60 different plants for 60 weeks that it has plus some extra pages so it starts here here you can write the name of of your planner basically or your name or whatever you want and then here you have a couple of pages that you can use if you want to date your pages and keep an index here or you need to take some notes you have some pages here and also some pages on the back like this okay sorry this one this one this one and then you start with 60 different spreads weekly spreads with 60 different flowers so I'll quickly show you what they have okay you can kind of watch the video in slow motion if you want to see the actual flowers they are all different some of them are similar just because they were um, from a book or from a catalog where you know you get all the um, primroses together or you get well all the um, yeah different flowers that they belong to the same category together so yeah but they are all different so yeah and they will appear week after week so you can enjoy one flower at a week okay so um for this one oh, this is dirty this it's not supposed to be like this <laughs> um so uh this is um one of them one of the covers and it's the same interior you have six different colors of covers so let me show you three of them because i don't have them all with me so this is the green then you have this is the pinkish one and then you have the orange they are pretty similar but uh, they're a bit different um, I mean, they, they may look similar on the camera, but this is definitely an orange. This is definitely a pink or reddish tone. These are the bags. Just love them. They are so beautiful. I think I'm going to create as well these ones, but just without... Oh, sorry. This is the one that I'm using and it has some pressed flowers on it. So I may create the same one just without the actual um, days of the week. And then you can use them as a notebook piece because I just love them. I may do this too yeah and then you have them this is the the soft cover but then you also have the hard cover so then let me show you um three others so, and then this is the brown cover that you have it also as a paperback and this is the um the red cover so the red one is my favorite it's the one that i created first and then also 
you have this one, which is the brown one. And the only one that, the only one that I don't have is the um, blue one. But well, if you go online and search in Amazon for Scrap Cozy, likely you will not have you will not find anything except my creations, okay? Because Scrap Cozy, nothing from Scrap Cozy is in Amazon except for what I create. And it's available worldwide. And I'm showing you just these two so then you can compare. Okay, these are printed by Amazon. So I have nothing to do or to tell on what is the inside of the actual paper and how the finishes are. So, um, well, they are, they are not bad. I mean, the quality is okay. It's like a book. So remember, this is a book, printed book, basically. And these are the different covers. But as you can see, I mean, you can tell that there is a difference of color. The actual um, hardcover one is a bit more pinkish. Probably this is more similar to the actual image. And this one is a bit more uh, um, greenish. But both of them, to me, they look very, very nice. This is just um, ink, okay? It's not how it is. So it was not printed like that. It was a bit dirty. I don't know what I did with the book, but actually it has some, um, well, different... Um, what is it? Stains. Yeah. But this is after I took it. Um, so yeah, this is the, um, the hardcover is a bit uh, taller. So if you like a more taller version of a wig with a bit more space, uh, this one may, may be for you. I mean, if you can check the dots are equally uh, spaced. So I think that you have a bit more room, not too much, but a bit more room on its day. Yeah, or actually, I oh know they are exactly the same. It's just that you have a bit more room on the bottom one. Yeah. And then, yeah, they're a bit more narrow, but yeah, you have um, a harder cover if that's what you prefer. I think that for me, I prefer the soft core because it's lighter and it's also more flexible. And if you have them in your bag, it may be easier. So, well, that was what I wanted to show you today, but especially um, this book which is my newest um, creation and it's available in Amazon now. Um, it's really buying very well. I mean, selling very well. So I, I introduced it in, in to the Spanish community basically because I was invited by a friend of mine to show you a couple of techniques and I created actually and my next videos, I'll show you the techniques that I show that I shared there. I created some, um, what is it? Oxide techniques, oxide, no. Um, what is rust techniques and, and there will be a video about this one and then there i i took the advantage of actually showing what i recently did yeah what i recently designed so i talked about this book but i actually didn't have it and then people started looking for it the next day when it was available and then they really really enjoy it and so i think that it will be something that uh, many people will enjoy and will create things about so um, that was all from me today I hope you like it and before I go let me show you the very first project that I made using my newest um, art journal so basically I like this page very very much so I've decided to start with this one and I'll just do a very very simple thing which will be coloring I'll be using infusions three colors and satin glaze all these are by Paper Artsy so if you want, um, well, you can get them at Stampers Grove, for example, because they will be selling the book soon. So you can you can go there and then buy the book and some supplies if you want. So what I'm doing here is mixing infusions with a satin glaze, okay, uh, to create my own translucent paint, because that will allow me to just add color to the image and I will not cover it at all. Okay, now I'm testing here. I could just put brought like a piece of um, white paper and test it there, but well, I did it at the back of the book. And I'm just going to add that yellow on the middle of the of the flower, and then I'll mix the other colors to paint the rest. So infusions, if you don't know about them, well, if you follow me, you already know about them because I always use them. They are some pigment powders with uh, combined with walnut crystals. Okay, so when you mix the two. The walnut gets dissolved and you get this vintage lovely color. So um, not that bright, a bit more muted, which I love very, very much. So basically you can add uh, this color to anywhere you like. The way to normally use it is just to uh, sprinkle on your surface and spritz with water. But because this is a book, a page book, okay, the, the pages are not for mixed media per se. So you would need to kind of protect them somehow. So the way for me to do it is just by directly mixing uh, that paint 
and that paint itself will protect the book okay so it's like a varnish that I'm adding on top of my image and, uh, and now I'm just adding uh, the green so that's olive tree if you want to know the colors uh, for the yellow one it's called golden sands and the uh, red one is called uh, sunset beach and this one is called um, olive tree okay and uh, basically yeah, what I'm doing is just adding the color and I'll do the same with the other image at the bottom so it's this pretty relaxing to be honest and it just doesn't need too much I mean after coloring the images the pages look absolutely beautiful already if you wanted to add more things like uh, as I said infusions on top sprinkle with water etc then you would either want to kind of add some sort of paint on the background to protect uh, the page a little bit and make it less porous or you could add also like a transparent gesso on top I think in Prima they sell it or um, yeah and then your page will be protected and you could add more things on top that are a bit more heavier right and now what I'll be doing is adding that uh, kind of aged look just by adding some distress ink vintage photo and I'm speeding up the process just so you can see how uh, the pages transform from a normal plain black uh, I mean white book into something really vintagey okay so here is just a matter of adding um, ink as you want uh, as much or as, as little and then that's it and here what I'm doing uh, in a minute will be bending the book a little bit okay so then I can reach uh, that spine a little bit more with the ink and yeah I'll be adding the ink on the other side of the page and basically I mean this is the project the, the very first project that I made super super simple just adding color and I think it uh, turned out very very nicely so um, I'll do more things of course so if you are new to my youtube channel I would love you for you to subscribe and I would love to read your comments uh, on on the book and on this project and see if you actually like them and if you like the idea and uh, remember the project the, the book is available in Amazon but it will also be available in other stores uh, the first one that have contacted me and therefore the one that will be having it first will be Stamper's Grove in the UK so if you want to buy some supplies from Pepirasi they have them too okay I'll add all the links for the book in my in the description of the video okay and this is how the first project turned out I hope you like it and I will say bye bye in person so switching back the camera up so thank you very much for watching I just wanted to show you uh, my newest um, well my newest creation as I said and I hope you like it if you did please give me a thumbs up I would love to read your comments what do you think about this one do you think it's a good idea to actually reprint some vintage images so we don't destroy old books or do you prefer to work on old books um, I think both of them are, are okay options but for those of you who actually don't dare to destroy an old book this is a very good option and then you can just uh, yeah, use it as a base or as whatever you like and you can strap it down without fearing that you will harm something unique and, and very very old right so thanks very much and see you soon bye bye